Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 11 box playoff push basketball mixer. Just a few games left, everybody making their playoff push. Might be some play in games too. At the end of the break, we're gonna re randomize everybody's names and someone's gonna get, get a shot at that Lonzo PSA 10. You can see the last, some of the last sales right there. Pretty nice. Pretty good stuff. There are the boxes involved in the break. Just keep those in mind um, as you're trading. Big thanks to all of these folks right here. Thanks for uh, grabbing your team straight up, and thanks for getting into those filler breaks to try to win spots. Congrats to the winners once again. All teams are right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a four, eight times. Hard eight for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we got Jacob down to Nick. Four and a four, hard eight for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and good luck, eighth and final time. After eight, we got the Dallas Mavericks down to the Indiana Pacers. No veteran common ship in this, as usual, except for except for Giannis, LeBron, Kobe, if any, and uh, well, second year Luka Doncic's. Those are the only ones. All right, Jacob, you have the Dallas Mavericks. Jeff with the Heat. Richard with the Sixers. Joe P, you have the Rockets. Asa with the Hornets. Mike with the Thunder. Tice with the Hawks. He has the Hawks up for trade. Nick Kova with the Bucks. Greg with the Nuggets, Chris with the Cavs, Sean with the Kings, Guy with the Knicks, Jeremy Port with the Timberwolves, Jeremy 33 with my Lakers, Jarrell with the Grizz, nice, Johnny, Pelicans, that's also nice, Magic, John McCall, Patrick with the Suns, Bulls for Daniel, Patrick with the Nets, Guy with the Warriors, John McCall with the Pistons, Daniel with the Trailblazers, John with the Spurs, Ryan S, Last Spot Mojo, Celtics, Kyle with the Jazz, Evan with the Wizards, Gabe with the Raptors, Darren with the Clippers, and Nick Stober with the Indiana Pacers. So there you have it. Let's alphabetize by team. Let's box these up right here. I'm going to pause the video, allow for a little bit of trading time, and when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then on the break itself, stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. A lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. That's all right, though. Let's get a move on. There you go. Wednesday the 12th. Happy Wednesday, everyone. The final printout, hot off the presses. Everyone has a chance to win this at the end. So if you're like, Joe, man, I, I have a bad team, or my break didn't go so well, you still have a shot at this, so never forget about this. Sell, probably sells for 700 plus dollars these days. Or if you have a great break, that could, be, that could be an excellent cherry on top. All right, let's see, what should we roll with here? You can see on the top cam, the rest of the box is right here. What about this totally certified? with Lonzo on the front. That's what we're giving away. We've got Oakland at Anaheim in the background, ladies and gentlemen. Oakland's up five to four, bottom of the seventh. Well, let's see if we're, you're gonna have to dust off your Joe Adele cards. I think he's up second. All right, good luck with the basketball, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've got a few hoops games happening a little bit later today. On Espen, maybe. I think we're getting very close to figuring out those seeding games, the, the play-in games. There's probably going to be a playoff game for uh, somebody. Actually, look that up really quick. Corey, what's up? All right, so we got Indiana beat Houston today, 108 104. Then we got a few games coming up. Two ESPN games. The ESPN games are Toronto at Philadelphia, Clippers at Denver, and then there's a Miami at OKC game that does, I don't think, has national coverage. Start with this first. There's Giannis. Did Giannis get suspended today? 
Serge Ibaka to 99. And we got Semi Ojale, 144 to 249, fabric of the game. We're going to find out tomorrow, Joe P says. He's Suns, Spurs, Grizzlies, and Blazers are all, are all in the mix. All right, so this goes to Ryan S. and the Celtics. Joe P, your Suns have been playing some excellent who since the uh, restart. Serge Ibaka will go to the Raptors, and then the Giannis will go to the Bucks. That'll be for Nick Koba. Daniel Tice will go to the Celtics for Ryan. <laughs> Two happy teams, one sad team. Yeah, what happened? What 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 clicked? Something clicked. I mean, Devin Booker we know is good. DeAndre Ayton I think has quietly been playing some excellent basketball too. I read an I read an interview. There's Deonta Davis for the Grizz, 19 out of 99. I read an interview that like DeAndre Aiden was like year one. I kind of wasn't quite comfortable. Didn't know how I fit into the offense and blah 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 blah. Jarrell Taylor with the Grizzlies. And then he's like, in his second year, this current year, he was like, I, something clicked. I like figured it out, you know. And I mean, he's a number one overall pick. He's got talent, so I think it he kind of it kind of clicked. And he's playing excellent. He's playing some excellent basketball as well. Then you add a couple of the other other youngsters on that team, and maybe playing in the bubble helps. Get some crown royale going here. Now let's get this hanger box out of the way first. We'll save Crown Royale for a little bit later. But yeah, maybe the bubble does help. You're not traveling, you're not on the road, you don't have to deal with home fans, road fans. You know, maybe that does help a younger team just kind of focus a little bit. Yeah, Cam Johnson, I think his value has been going up too, Cameron Johnson. Ryan S., what's up? Yeah, you got randomized the Celtic. I think you just had one team. Yeah, yeah, Last Spot Mojo, randomized the Celtics, nice. All right, let's see what we got here. What year is this again? This is, uh, oh, 1819, so we're looking for Doncic. We're looking for, we'll save those Giannis. We're looking for Doncic and Trey Young, primarily. So many of these cards now have such great value, you got to be... Can't really breeze through those as quickly. Jersey series, Michael Red, Bucks. It's another one for uh, for Nick Koba. And Nick, all those all those Giannis cards have some good value too. Got Javon Carter rated rookie. Bruce Brown. Devontae Graham has been getting some love. That Shea Gilgis Alexander is good. So is that Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba for the Magic. That's going to go to John McCall. Nice rated rookie there. SGA. This is still Clippers edition here, Darren. So you get it. He's been playing some good basketball too for his current team. Charlotte. Asa with the Hornets. Marvin Bagley just needs to stay healthy, right, Kings? There's Michael Porter Jr. He's been playing some excellent basketball. That goes to the Nuggets. That's going to go to Greg B. Nice Michael Porter Jr. Marvin Bagley, Sean Maddock, and the Kings. Wow, what a catch by Ramon Laureano. Rob a home run. I don't. What are the recent Rocket rookies? It's got to be someone, right? I think. I think the. I think Houston hates rookies. You. None. You're hoping. You're hoping for like a random like Chris Paul or J 
James Harden one of one or something like that. Like a James Harden kaboom is what you're probably... There's Anthony Davis. Still Lakers edition, although clearly Hornets colors there. But we go by the logo on the card. That'll be for Jeremy 33. With AD, die cut, Knights of the Round Table. Tyus Jones is your jersey and autograph. Knights of the Round Table jersey and auto. Four, uh, what is that? 46 out of 99. That is for Jeremy Port and the Timberwolves. Back to back Jeremy's. Grizzlies, sorry. Wasn't he on the. Well, anyway. Grizzlies, my bad. Jer, uh, Jarrell Taylor with that one. There's Hachimura. He certainly has some upside in the future. There's Cameron Johnson. We were just talking about him. Sons, Patrick K. And behind Jackson Hayes is Kaboom, Jared Culver. Rookie Kaboom card. Nice. That will be for Jeremy Port and the Minnesota Timberwolves. This one first. Yeah. Should we get this out of the way? Sort of bigger box here. Uh, 1718 Donruss basketball. <laughs> Kaboom! Not a rocket. Yeah. Well, I think you just have to hold out for the uh, for the Lonzo at the end, Joe P. Thankfully, you didn't you didn't pay full price for this. You won this spot, so could could be worse. Arthur is here. What up, Arthur? What are the... Uh, does anyone know what the tiebreaker would be? Uh, uh, the tiebreaker would be for the play-in game? Because if you are within like four games of the eight seed, if you're the ninth seed and you're within four games, I think, three or four games... You get into that play-in game, which is like a two-game series, essentially. I forget if the Kabooms are case hits. I think they are. But what happens if there's a tiebreaker? Do they? What? What? What's the tiebreaker? Now the Grizzlies right now and the Suns have the same record, 33 and 39. I don't think they face each other. So what happens if it's exactly the same? Anyone know? Would I would it be head to head record maybe if they have ever faced each other this regular season? Season head to head, Oliver says. Did they play each other? What if the, what if it's one and one? Do they play each other more than twice? That I don't know. What happened? Gotcha. Head to head. Oliver and Arthur are saying then conference record, overall conference. Gotcha. All right. I'll be honest with you. I, I would not mind seeing. I would not mind seeing uh, the Suns as the eight seed. I don't want to see Portland. Suns as an eight seed. Lakers Suns. Be like a like an old classic matchup from like fifteen years ago or something like that. We got Justin Patton, press proof to one ninety nine for the T Wolves. Jeremy Port.
I don't know, was it 15 years ago? It was a long time ago. Better record than Hattie Gans. Yeah, the division winner, interesting, would be one of the tiebreakers as well. So are any of these potential playoff teams playing today? No. So Joe P. saying tomorrow is the big day. Right, because it's Milwaukee, Memphis tomorrow, Dallas, Phoenix tomorrow, and Spurs, Utah tomorrow. So yeah, decision day tomorrow. That should be exciting. Donovan Mitchell, rated rookie, nice. Tomorrow we will know everything, says Joe P. Rated rookie going to Kyle Cook. Hey, Giannis, insert will ship, don't worry. It's like Dirk Nowitzki coming up here. I spam my bot out of bio for the heat. You don't see what the hype about Luis Robert? You finally saw him play? He went one for five? What was that one, though? Did you see that one? That one was a base-clearing double. He had three runs, three RBIs on that. Right. Luis Robert's very good. I was watching that game, too. It was an incredible hit. First pitch, ripped down the left field line, hustles in for a double, clears the bases. Giving the White Sox back the lead? I mean, come on. What do you want from him? The home run? He's got those two. Fox in the box, De'Aaron Fox, Sean Maddock with the Kings. You're going to get Zoo Key, Joe, Joe P, Rockets. He's crushing it in the, uh, in the China League, the Chinese League. We looked up his stats. I think he's, he's averaging he double-doubles, 20-plus, 20 20-point 20 double-doubles. We actually looked it up, I think. Last week we got a zoo key. I'll top load I'll even top load that for you, Joe. <laughs> I don't know what value he has now, but if he comes back to the NBA. That's Cavs LeBron right there. And Lonzo giving away a rookie auto of his. Nice. Cavs LeBron going to Chris Bonewell. Paolo, you don't you don't think Zuki wants to come back and play in the NBA? He'll make a lot more I don't know, will he? I don't actually don't know if he'll make a lot more money in the NBA. Ooh. Nice rated rookie, Jason Tatum, Ryan Shackleton. And we got a, another Jason Tatum. The rookies insert Jason Tatum. No, you don't think you don't think any of those guys want to come back? Why? Maybe, maybe they're not going to get the minutes. Wes Matthews, press proof for the Mavs to one ninety nine. And Maurice Har uh, Harkless. Mo Harkless, Trailblazers. It's going to go to Daniel. 
You know, before the before the season was paused, Joe P. Dwayne Bacon, we, we just passed his card. Dwayne Bacon dropped like a forty or fifty point game. I feel like if the I feel like if he had more time in the G League and the season wasn't paused, I'll bet he would have gotten some time with the uh, with the Hornets. Maybe next year. Graded rookie Lori Markinen for the Bulls, Daniel. I'm the only guy you've heard talking about Dwayne Bacon. You like that take? Yeah. It's a hot, sizzling take. It is a hot, sizzling, crispy bacon take. But, I mean, I'm serious. He did drop, like, 40 or 50 points in a G League game, like, a week or two before the season was shut down. And I was like, dust off your, uh... You know, dust off your Dwayne Bacon rookie cards. Who knows? But then the season hit the pause button, and I don't think he was getting a lot of time. And then I don't, I don't think Charlotte was in the restart, right? Yeah, Charlotte wasn't in the, even in the restart, so didn't work out. But maybe a buy low candidate for next year. I'm sure you can get his cards for under five bucks. What are what are Dwayne Bacon Prism Silver is going for? I'd be curious now. Dwayne Bacon, Prism Silvers. All right. We've got a retail box right here, 2019-2020. Good luck. I mean, what's the worst that happens? Do you, like, you waste five or ten bucks on some Dwayne Bacon Silvers? Uh, Loriano uh, appealed, Tyler Brenner. So as soon as you appeal... Which is what everyone does. As soon as you appeal, you can you can keep playing until that appeal is heard. Joe Kelly's appeal was to was supposed to be was supposed to be Monday, I think, or I think the hearing was on Monday. I don't know what the results of that is. I didn't see that anything reported today, unless it reported while I was on air, breaking. So I'm sure, I'm sure someone in the chat would have said something. Wait, did Paolo saying thoughts on Kelly getting another eight games? Is that what happened? They didn't give him the extra eight games. Wow, they gave him the extra eight games? Now that's stupid then. That's ridiculous. Manfred has lost his mind. What's up, TJ? I feel like they're just they're just punishing him for taking matters into his own own hands because Manfred's inability to to punish properly. Stupid. Manfred's bungled pace of play stuff. Manfred's bungled COVID stuff. Man, man, man Rob Manfred bungling everything. Let's look that up. No, ESPN saying it was actually reduced to five games. Maybe you're thinking of someone else, Paolo. Oh, yeah. Dodgers Joe Kelly's suspension reduced to five games on appeal, which is still ridiculous. It should be one game. It should be one game. Joe P., look at that. I'm going to save that James Harden for you. But yeah, Manfred and, and Goodell are both two peas in the same commissioner pod. I mean, if you look at look at how well the uh, look at how well um, Adam Silver's been doing things in basketball. So no, I think I think TJ's right, Paolo. I think you got caught up in the joke. No, they did. Not, they did not add more. That sounded weird too. I was like, they didn't, they wouldn't add more because of the brawl. All right. Well, yeah, 
got. But... Paolo Manfred's still ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It seems like something he would do, so I think all of us are not surprised. But no, I think it got it got reduced to five, which is again still ridiculous, but. Oh, and an autograph out of here. The autos aren't too common in this. It's Daryl Macon, Miami Heat, Jeff Dorlak. Yeah, Baisley. That well, that entire Thunder team's been playing some good basketball. Yeah, that Baisley hollow that I just sleeved up is is pretty strong. Jalen Brown as well. Yeah, Clippers by or a Thunder by the way, uh, Mike G with that. Darius Baisley. That hollow's going for seventy dollars now. That's wild. Save that bowl, bowl too. His value's been popping up a little bit, on the rise. All right, let's go into a mega box right here, 1718 mega box. All right, good luck. Just a handful of boxes to go. We're almost done, actually. It's might be a tiny bit ahead of schedule, which is good. We'll go through some more orders. We only have one more break after this. We'll go through some more orders and see what else sold out. And keep adding to that schedule and see what else we can get into tonight. Got plenty we can do today, folks. There's another basketball mixer in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Check it out. Next one's a 14 boxer. I think we're giving away a Michael Porter Jr. in the next one. Uh, Jason, yes, we are live on Instagram Live. At Jaspies Breaks on Instagram. With $200 hit packs tonight, says Nick Jaspie. The hit packs are going live at 4 o'clock Pacific. Jason's live right now. What? Oh. Donovan Mitchell, rated rookie, goes to Kyle. Kyle Cook with that one. And there's Kyle Kuzma. Jason Tatum, rated rookie. Tricolor. And Lori Markinen. So that's for the Bulls, Daniel Graham, and Jason Tatum. That goes to Ryan S. and the Celtics. Nice. I like Kyle Kuzma. Let's leave one of those up. Who's that Lonzo? Let me grab that Lonzo, too. I kind of miss Lonzo. Jared Allen, and Darius Thornwell. All right, all right, all right. So we got some contenders. We got some prism. I think we're going to close with those prisms. We're going to go mosaic, origins, contenders, and we'll curl around this way. And we'll close there with 17, 18 stuff. Well, maybe we'll close with 19. We'll close with the current contenders. I don't think Lonzo's bubble stats are atrocious. They should they should be better. He should have worked on his shooting during the three month layoff. I don't think he did. He's got upside though. He should be pretty good. He should be a solid distributor of the ball. With the team that he has, he just 15 assists a night. He can have zero points and 17 assists a night. <laughs> that dirt. 
Jalen Brown. Julius Randle, Oladipo, Thunder Edition, Torrin Prince. Any, any big names here? Chris Dunn, Brandon Ingram, all right, Malik Beasley, Clarkson, Juan Hernan Gomez, Blake, and Malcolm Brogdon. All of these will ship though. See what we have in 1920 Origins. Two base cards on the bottom here. Gobert to seventy five, yeah. I don't think I don't think that affected Lonzo's game at all, but but yeah, I think uh, Lonzo Ball's dad was pretty annoying. He might have a he might have a son back in the NBA again, so I don't, let's see what happens there. All right, couple hits here. We've got John Morant relic. 27 out of 35 going to the Grizz. Jarrell Taylor with the Grizzlies. And the hit on the bottom is Grant Williams' jersey and autograph. Ryan S. and the Celtics. All right, let's work on some 17-18 uh, Prism basketball. One of these is one of these is a uh, retail, right? And the other one is considered. I don't know. We've got we've got a couple going on here. Which one should I do? Should I do the? the I'll do the bigger one first. And then we'll close out with that Contenders draft pick, uh, current edition. All right, good luck, everybody. Yeah, big baller brand. I think, is it still around? I think Lonzo was not happy with the direction big baller brand went. It was a good idea, but poorly executed. I do like the idea of, uh, I do like the idea of, like players having the, the control of their own brand, which I like. But they, they got involved with some dude that was like scamming money from them and blah, 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 blah. Those are, those, those, those are pretty rare. I need to steal some. <laughs> those failure cards are pretty rare, Nick. Sorry. Nick Bosa needs it. Nick Bosa needs it. Oh, that's a sick pass. You're sick, right? It's a Panini product. Well, where did my... You want to show that on camera? Look at this. Yeah, I need the top, though. Oh, where's the top? Elements Football by Panini. There it is, right on the top of your face camera. It's coming in a hit pack. Camera. And it came out of a... It's going to be in a hit pack? Yeah, it's going to be in a hit wow. pack. Wow. At Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram Live. That is going to be in a hit pack. I don't know. There's also an $800 NTRPA out of 99 of Cameron Johnson. That's with Jason at Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram. If Phoenix Suns make the playoffs, it's probably over a thousand. Ooh. They haven't lost yet. The Angels? Uh, the uh, Suns in the bubble. Oh no, they haven't lost yet. No, they're good. Angels are about to lose. Why are you saying that? <laughs> Six four. I mean, they were up. They were keeping it close, but Angels bullpen once again. 
Oh, that was uh, that was Nick Bosa with the half of the Niners logo in the pads. That's going to be in a hit pack tonight at Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram. I think it should be should be loaded up soon. As soon as he packs up, packs them up and randomizes them up, gets them random. So that will be with Jason a little bit later tonight. I think that was from NT. Like. Lori Markin and Bulls. Daniel Graham, Lonzo Ball, Lakers, Jeremy 33. Silver DJ Wilson. And a Jared Allen autograph. Nice. Uh, Patrick K, Brooklyn Nets. Apollo saying LaMelo can ball, but the kid has a mind of an 11-year-old. Well, I hope that his experience overseas, you know, maybe, maybe kind of matured him a little bit, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, hopefully that experience has helped, being with adults, professionals in Australia. It's not rookie T.J. Warren, but he's been playing some excellent basketball. Zach Collins, green for the Trailblazers. That'll be for Daniel. There's Giannis, Isaiah, Luke Walton, Rondo, Josh Hart, Burgundy Wave. I don't know if it's called Burgundy Wave, but different parallel. Giannis. Greg Monroe. TJ Leaf. Get hype LeBron for the Cavs. Hakeem and Dehunta Murray. All right, two more boxes to go. Then we're going to give away that Lonzo. Do I want to do this one? Yeah, fast break. With the uh, black parallel number to one, the disco refractors are in here too. So let's check it out. It's another 1718 box. Folks, we have a 14 box basketball mixer in the store. That's what I said, Bob. Must be my Californian accent. Correcting me on basketball names. I know my basketball. You can correct me on hockey names. I think there were a couple Luka Doncic's hiding around in here. Maybe one or two. Nothing significant. I don't think we saw a rookie Luka Doncic, if I remember correctly. my California accent, Paul. Are you just making fun of my California accent? It's not really grammar, is it? Linguistics, more like. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Those, I don't think those reds are numbered. They are to 125. It's Patty Miles.
Ursan Ilyasova to 175. Yeah, rewards program is one was one of the many things that we have on one of our many burners in, in the Jaspie's kitchen. We'll get there. There's Tyler Johnson to 50 for the Miami Heat. And a Manu Ginobili. Autograph. Nice. Spurs. Wasn't that wasn't someone wasn't John McCall trying to trade the Spurs? Is that tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo? Maybe not. Maybe someone wanted. I don't know what. Might have been tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. There it is. He's pretty good. There's LeBron James. Cavs edition for Chris. Tyler Johnson, pink disco for Jeff and the Heat. John Collins. I feel like he's got some great upside. There is a blue disco deer and fox to 175. A fox in the box. Valentunis right there. Alright, one more box to go. Has the Kings. Sean Maddock won that spot, got himself randomized the Kings, gets the deer and fox. All right, and we're going to close out with 2019 2020 Panini Contenders draft picks basketball. Six autographs per box on average. Might need a checklist. Some of these might, might players might not. Might not be familiar with them. Kyle Cook says King should have came to Seattle. You guys got screwed. Seattle does need a team, but are we saying screw the uh, Sacramento fans? Someone's going to get screwed in the end, I guess. So where's Contenders Draft? There it is. We'll go by the GroupBreakChecklist.com checklist. If you want to be a sharp collector. I would uh, bookmark that site. Very great for uh, for group breaks. All right. Good luck, ladies and gents. Oh, when they were looking to sell, we had a buyer and someone to build a new stadium, but it just never went through. That stadium in Sacramento looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, once that was set. Some Kobe. And we got Phil Booth, a Villanova Wildcat. Everyone knows that Phil Booth went to. Uh, you, you correct letter of the team. First letter. A W team. Went to the Wizards. That's Evan with the Wizard. You're a Wizard, Evan. Washington with that one. Three, two. The drop works the walk. 
And, oh, we know where he goes. This is nice. On card auto, 10 out of 25, a Tar Heel. Kobe White. Chicago Bulls, Daniel Graham, who won that spot in one of the, our Mosaic Cello Pack breaks. Very nice. There you go. Nice Kobe White. Uh, the Sonics ended up turning into the OKC Thunder, John McCall. That's what happened there. So that's why in our group breaks, any... Uh, any... Uh, for the Knicks, Ignis Radzikas. So that's why during group breaks, any uh, Seattle Supersonic cards will end up going to OKC. Uh, do, I, do the cards go to the current team or draft team? We go by the checklist on groupbreakchecklist.com. That's what we use. NYK, that goes to Guy of the Knicks. In fact, I'll drop that checklist in the chat for you. It's on groupbreakchecklist.com. Kawhi Leonard to 75. Draft ticket, cracked ice. And we got from DePaul, Max Struss. I don't remember where Max Struss went. Max Struss, Boston Celtics. That's one, two, three, four autographs. We have two more. Game day ticket, RJ Barrett in his Duke gear. And we've got Jalen Horde, a Demon Deacon. Jalen not Jalen Hands. I need a Jalen Horde, who is a trailblazer. Blazing them trails. Daniel with that one. Second year Luka Doncic's, LeBron James shipping. There's Tyler Hero in his Kentucky gear. And the last autograph is gonna be Lugans Dort, an Arizona State Sun Devil who turned into a Pacer? Thunder. Thunder, damn it. That goes to OKC Mike G with the Thunder. Turn into a sun devil from a sun devil, turn into a weather pattern. And there's a Kobe right right there. And then there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bad break at all. Pretty solid. Nice stuff. We'll do a quick recap in a second after we give away this. So previous sales, as you saw in the item description, anywhere from seven to eight hundred dollars. Pretty nice stuff on that PSA ten gem mint Lonzo Ball prism silver and autograph. Pretty nice. Everybody has a shot at that. So let's flip back to this list right here. 
So from Tyson the Hawks down to Evan and the Wizards and everybody in between, you got a shot at this. After three and a four, seven times. Name on top after seven. Good luck. One, two, three, four. And seventh and final time. Good luck, everybody. Name on top. So everyone from two down to 30, thanks for trying. Thanks for getting in. We'll get them next time. And congrats to Jarrell Taylor with Mosaic Cello Pack number 346. That's how he won it. Got into the break. What did he get? I think he got 346. Got the Grizzlies. There were some John Morants in there. Nothing super crazy, though. But this is pretty crazy. There you go, JT. Boom. There you go. All right. Quick recap right here, ladies and gents. Thank you for getting in. If you want more basketball action, we have it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We have 14 box. We have a 14 box multi-year basketball mixer, so we can chase a lot of different rookies from a lot of different years. Boys and girls. Nice kaboom card there. So a lot of fun stuff. Get into the action. Once again, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.